Okay, this my favourite bread is the coffee bread from Suihing. My parents brought back this bag of bread and then this bun was inside because my dad likes it. And then like being this naughty child, I just decided that I'm not going to eat my usual bread and I'm going to pick the bread my dad likes. So I ate it and then actually it was quite good and then since then, this is my go-to bread. A good coffee bread will have that nice layer of like crisp around it also. You know like a polo bun? Yeah, exactly the same. And it will smell very very fragrant. Like the moment right, you, when, you, know, you haven't even taken the bread right, then you can smell from outside already. That's like wow. The best coffee bread to me right, is still Roti Boy. Like, that one is the ultimate, ultimate coffee bun. It's very fragrant and it's easy to eat. Like, you know if you eat like pork floss bun, like eat it, it's gonna like fall over the face. And it's messy and it's like, uh, it's horrible. But this one, like you eat, everything is still together. It's like, oh, structural integrity kept. There's that veneer of coffee, but then beneath there is like buttery goodness. So it's like bagus, you know. Oh my god, I think the butter is just here. Yeah. Yeah! Siu Pan is my favourite bread because it's very simple yet delicious. So I can have this like any time of the day, it's not too heavy. So it's a bit like a buttery, chewy roll with the buttered crust. Usually I get the plain one but I found this bakery that does the maple bacon ones. It's a bit salty and sweet which is a very good balance. And the inside is very soft as well. So this is gardenia raisin bread. Most of the time, this was a treat for me growing up. Every kitchen in the middle of the night, it gets really humid. So this thing will start to like... So it starts to do this, and then everything starts to become like this. So you don't even taste the air. So when there's no air, there's no dryness. This is my favourite bread from Four Leaves Bakery. It's the mochi bun in cheese and chocolate. The chocolate one is very rich and gao. Don't have the cheap artificial chocolate kind of taste and there are real chocolate chunks that kind of melt on your tongue. It's so fun because when you bite it, right, then it compresses. Then when you release, it like boing, back into form. Like, oh, so fun. Also, I love to eat leftovers. So I realised that you don't really need to refrigerate this. This one is not endorsed by Four Leaves Bakery. So do this at your own risk. This is my favourite bread. It's like the mochi bread from Four Leaves. And I only buy the cheese one because I'm not a fan of chocolate. Okay, inside like there's no physical chewy mochi but for some reason they make it damn chewy la. I don't know how they do it but when you bite it right the texture is like it's like mochi I don't know how to describe it Honestly right this is the OG primary school bread Mmm Mmm mm. Tastes like childhood <sighs> Primary school Raffles Girls Primary School outside I stand outside wait for my mother I sing the school song We shall strive to do our best This is a thing in Southeast Asia but and Tiong Sim to Sunshine brand. Yeah, even Gardenia come out the bread I never tried before. But if Gardenia want to send me, sure. So my favourite bread is a donut. When I was younger in primary school, I would buy it with my friends. Like after school, then we would buy bubble tea, donut. I think the best donut that I have tried, personally for me, would be Sui Hing. Look, it gives you lots of sugar. I have no idea why. Maybe we were too broke. But she always buy one and then in my memory, I always have to like snatch with my sister and then we will share one donut together. Even until today, me and my sister still eat this. This is my favourite bread that I eat every day for breakfast from Sui Heng. The name of this bread is like super cute. It's called the caterpillar. For bread this size, for 160, it's really worth it. Why I like this bread right is because I don't know what is this are, but this is actually sweet. The lines design here, they sprinkle some icing sugar and then the whole thing just sweet lah. Actually, fun fact, I'm, I'm really afraid of butterfly, so I don't know why I'm eating caterpillars. This is my favourite bread. It's the mini Danish chocolate croissants from Sui Hing, and it specifically has to be the 1989 one. The first time I ate it was in primary school, so like, you know those are like shops where they sell like bread, they sell pao. So I'll have this, one spawn packet of Milo, and then I'll have like my homework and my friend's homework, I'll just like copy before I had to go to like the parade square. My favourite bread is specifically bread talk, the floss bread. And it's my favourite bread because if I am right, it's a, like original Singapore creation. So it's something that like I can take pride in as a Singaporean. It's not even just normal mayo. They have this special secret mayo sauce that they put underneath the layer of pork floss, right? Something about bread talk's combination of the bun, the mayo on top and then the fire floss, right? When I sink my teeth into it, it just hits the spot. 
So I have a very specific way of eating my floss bread. I'll like completely crush it in the plastic bag, then I'll like shove it in my mouth. I recommend people who are in a rush uh, eating breakfast to try this method. This is my favourite because I love Po Lo Pao with char siu inside and this is from So Good Bakery. The Po Lo Pao right, is extra crispy and like right, um, just good amount of sweetness to it. And then when you bite it in right, the feeling inside, oh my god, it is so emotional this bread because it's got a lot of feeling. There's some smokiness to the char siu also. That's why it's a good complement to this whole Po Lo Pao. My recent newfound favourite is Muyu's Black Sesame QQ Bread. I don't know the official name, but that's how I like to call it. Okay, why do I love this bread so much? Very simple, I love Black Sesame, but not all Black Sesame is good. It has to have a bit of the grainy bits, a bit earthy, nutty, but not too jelak. This one has the perfect balance of everything. It's not really the mochi that I'm drawn to, but it's really the paste inside. It's very rich, glossy, not dry at all. And the bread itself is also really airy and fluffy, which I love. So this is my favourite bread. It's from Yakun. It used to be like $2 plus. Now it's like, I just bought it like $3. Oh. I mean, compared to the other like white colour bread or like Kaya toast bread that you make at home is like totally different. Like this is like thinner, crispier, and Yakun is superior. I feel like the bread itself from Yakun is like better. But the actual spread, like the butter and the kaya, I think is the best part. I think like people don't know outside Singapore or Malaysia, do they know what kaya is? <laughs> like some brando from Japan probably doesn't know what kaya is, right? They have Yakun there? Eh? Why? <laughs> Okay, so this is my favourite bread. It has to be Mr Bean's cheese flavour and then like it must be circular also. It's actually like a pancake-ish but it's also made out of flour. So, it's bread to me. Pasar Malang, all these like, they will always sell these similar ones like in Japan or in Taiwan. It's like a must-have one, this kind of thing. This is Baulu and this is my favourite bread. I know some of you might say this is not a bread but what is it made of? Flour. In some countries, it's called flour. Sorry, I did too. <laughs> Malay family, right? Every time they go JB, step out of the custom, they will have this like, wow, aroma smell is coming from this Baulu shop. People always go there and they always buy them early and then will collect when they are going back home. And it's freshly baked. My favourite childhood bread is called Kaya Ball. Honestly, I don't know why I love it so much. I think it's the feeling. If like auntie make it fresh for you, right? I would say that the dough is similar to like a thick pancake. And the feeling usually when it's served hot, it will flow out one lah. I like how they can incorporate this kaya into desserts and bread like this. Maybe you can find this in Malaysia, but I don't think you can find it like anywhere else. So this is very special. So this bread is actually, I bought it when I first started in CSL. <laughs> the reason why I chose this is because I'm quite basic. I like ham and cheese. But then they were like, listen to this. Ham and cheese with garlic bread spread. Oh, the overpowering taste is the garlic breadish taste. It is also soft. And then got like hints and bits of ham. Yeah, I don't think there's cheese much. But yeah, the garlic bready though. Ladies and gentlemen, a classic hot dog bun. I would say everybody loves a good hot dog bun. And people who say they don't, are not to be trusted. Yeah, the bread is really soft. It's also not too soft. I feel like some places, like, it's so soft and like mushy that it gets stuck in my teeth sometimes and that's what I don't like. The sausage is one of the sausages of all time. I like to buy my hot dog bread from like neighborhood bakeries instead of those like more well-known brands because I feel like there's a more authentic touch to it. And also for the bread, right, I feel like they bake it like more homely. So when I eat it, right, it really tastes like a comfort bread to me. Yeah, as compared to when I buy from elsewhere. This is my favourite bread. It is a custard bun. I don't know if it's all these like charred bits on top, but it adds to the texture. And then, yeah, it's essentially an egg tart in a bread combined. So I guess if you're the kind of person who don't like the crust of the egg tart, but you want the egg tart and a bread, buy this. I think butter sugar has a very nice combination between the saltiness from the butter and the sweetness from the icing sugar. I feel like butter sugar is a very Singaporean thing. I don't think that's something you can get in like Western countries, for example. 
feels very Singaporean to me. So one of my favourite bread is this sliced cheese bread with like sugar crystals on it. This one is one whole sliced cheese. There are also shredded cheese. There's more burnt flavour. But today I'm feeling a little more cheesy. Fuck. So I go for the sliced cheese one instead. I think they, they do this like little crisp cut thing. But the bread is super soft. And I think what really makes this bread right is that the sugar is not like totally melted. This is all sweet, crunchy and also fluffy inside. I like all kinds of bread actually, but I was told to only bring one. It's the Parmesan cheese chicken ham bread. So you see on this side, there's like the hoop cheese. It brings me back to my childhood, you know. Every time I put like the sliced cheese on the plate that I put in the microwave. Then after that, I'll just eat it like that. I just ate the ham part and it tastes like ham. But with the cheese, it like tastes a little bit more like exquisite. Refined. Perfect. So this is Sui Heng's Ota Bun. I think I just enjoy the charcoal, charcoal, the charcoal taste of the Ota. It is quite authentic lah, right, for the taste. I don't really care too much about the bun, but it's all about the Ota lah. So it just comes together very well. So this is my favourite bread of all time. It's the Pandan Kaya Buns. I find that you can't go wrong with it, but it has to be Pandan Kaya. Like, Pandan Kaya is just better. I think it's more fragrant. It's not as gelat as the brown one. So my favourite bread is actually like this bread. La. It's actually called a spider. I mean, it kind of looks like a spider web. Why I like it is like, I like the best of both worlds. I mean, I love the original hot dog bun. Then I also love floss. Yeah, so this actually like infuses both things together. So I'm a big cheese fan, so I'll try all the bread that has cheese. Everything has cheese, like there's no part that there's no cheese. I also like the fact that there's ham, so that there's a good uh, balance lah. This is my favourite bread, the golden triangle bread. Oh my god, I love right when you I take the first bite into the middle. When I'm feeling sad right, I'll take the side first. So that when I eat the middle at the last, I'll feel happier, you know. So because there's a lot of layers right, so there's a lot of different textures to the food inside. And the ingredients like blend very well together to give very, very savoury taste. I don't like to mix flavours. I don't like to mix sweet and savoury. So this is just savoury, savoury, savoury. I love it. My favourite bread, I guess it's not really like a bun, but it's the mini croissants from Four Leaves. I like anything from their mini range. I feel like it's very compact, very easy to eat, and it's very, very nice. So this is my favourite bread. It's traditional white bread. Honestly, I don't know what to call it, but it's not the one from NTUC, like the mass-produced one. And also, I think it's S-tier because you can have it with different kind of spreads. Like for me, I like it with either peanut butter or butter. The good quality ones, when you press it, I must want spread. My favourite bread of all time, right, is this particular loaf of bread, right? And it's not, not just any normal loaf of bread. This is like a milk bread. Everybody, look at how small this is. It's like that. <laughs> it's like so much smaller than your normal bread loaf, right? There's a very distinct smell also and a bit sweet also. So it's like milk taste plus sweet and very, 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 very soft and small. So this chocolate bread from Sui Heng is my favourite bread because I'm a big fan of chocolate, so anything with chocolate I'll automatically like. And I like that this bread is like not only swirl with chocolate, but it also has like chocolate chips on top. So it's overall quite chocolatey, which I get that it's a bit heavy for breakfast, but I'll have it sometimes when I'm like very hungry. So my favourite bread is actually the sourdough bread from Woodland Sourdough. But for me, because I don't really like the squishy, soft kind of bread, so I like the almost crispy kind of bread like sourdough or like baguettes. This is honestly one of the best sourdoughs in Singapore. I only kind of recently found out about this bakery because it's quite near my house. I got a sourdough loaf today and this one in particular is from Marche. Usually, I would eat it with a saucer of vinegar and olive oil. So, yeah, producers are very atas but you know, if it works, it works. This one is fresh because I got it yesterday but you can taste the slight tang from the sourdough but there's a very natural nice sweetness that comes through and the crust is beautiful and it's a beautiful day every time you get to eat bread. One of my favourite bread is this pizza bread. Since young, my mom would buy this bag. Lah. I think it seems the most worth it because you're kind of getting a two-in-one. Like It's a pizza and a bread at the same time plus it's like $4. And like my entire family would just share this. We might eat it over like one day or two days for breakfast depending on how hungry we are. Oh. This is one of those like weird neighborhood concoctions that like just kind of appears in one of the markets. But at Passeris, at that specific bakery, is the only place that I've seen this thing. And I'm so glad I live in Passeris. It's pride. 
This is my favourite bread. It's the cheese mochi bread from Gokoku. I like it because it's big and fluffy. It has weight, so it means that it's substantial. I always get this when I'm feeling hungry because it can really fill you up. There's no actual mochi inside the bread, but I guess like the texture is very mochi and there's like cheese cubes inside the bread also. So I like cheese, so I think it's very nice. So this is my favourite bread. I don't really know the exact name of it, but I call it the chocolate mochi bread. I got this from Gokoku. The chocolatiness is just amazing. Because you know some chocolate bread, they use artificial chocolate, right? But this one, you really can taste the chocolatey factor. And it's that right amount of chocolatiness in that sense. This is my favourite bread from Gokoku Bakery. It's called the Mentaiko Baguette. You don't really see mentaiko bread around often at bakeries. So whenever I go past Gokoku Bakery, this is the first bread I'll aim for because it's always gone very quickly. There was once I had to ask the staff, do you still have the mentaiko baguette at the back? Then she was saying, okay, let me check for you. Then sometimes she would take it out the whole tray for me. Then she say, fresh. Yeah, okay. So this is my favourite bread from Tai Bang Bakery. It is the mochi yam floss bread. I love all the combination of yam floss and mochi inside. All the gooey mochi and the goodness of the floss and the yam inside. I'm pretty sure you can't find it in any Western countries or anything that's out of the Asia continent. Thank you for watching this episode of 50 Singaporeans. If you liked it, watch our other videos over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye. Yeah, give him a bit.